Hello. So I'm doing another Bruno Del Zoo uh, walkthrough, but this time I'm going to do it slightly different. So last time we finished on Robert De Niro, made up all of different chunks of Robert De Niro with a little bit of goofy and a little bit of not so goofy. So you see here, sometimes he does all squares, but then sometimes he does them where it's like the picture in the background. So I've chose a picture here. Oh, not that one. Uh, I chose a picture here of Zendaya where she's got a bit of a goofy face going on and then sticking her tongue out and then a nice normal one okay and we're going to put all those together to create an image like that all right so first of all we're going to just grab again using the rectangular marquee tool hopefully at this point you've all watched uh, the work and we're just going to grab a good chunk like that, control and C, go to our untitled page, control and V, bring that right down, didn't realise how much bigger it was, I'm just going to chuck her there in the background, alright, and then we're just going to build on that, so first of all, I'm going to grab this part of her, looking all normal, I say normal because obviously she's pulling a silly face in that one. And then we're just going to match that up like that. And then we're just going to build like so. Alright. So as you can see, I'm doing exactly the same as I did with the Robert De Niro. I'm just chipping away at it here, slowly. And then every time I do it, I'm just adding them on top this time. Try and match them up every now and again. So that one looks really cool because you can see the nostril kind of matches up and then the top lip. We're just missing a, the top of her hair there. Which one haven't we got? This one, so I'm just going to chuck the hair in. And then we just need a neck. Chin kind of matches up. And then just gonna grab that one, put it all the way down to the bottom so that everything's on top of there. Okay, so as you can see, we've got that. So now this one, really big shape, and this one's a really big shape. So I'm just gonna put some little bits on top of there. Okay, so this one, we've got two eyes. So what I'm thinking is we'll put another eye up on top. and then paste that one I have no idea why it's not working oh it's because I'm putting it underneath there we go alright so we're just going to put this one up here
know, just making like mini decisions as I go, really. You know, like with the rubber the narrow one, I just kind of chuck them all in. Whereas with this one, I'm actually placing them as I go and thinking about it. You see, that one's obviously on top. So there we go. So we've got Zendaya's face, loads of different shapes, and then just like we did in the last one, we are then going to play with this one. This time, let's just do it a little bit different. We'll put the yeah, if we do it on that angle, then it should come up into this white here. Distance a little bit further. I just want it to be slightly different than my Robert De Niro one. Back and then go to inner glow. You can see there we just want that ever so slightly. And what I'm actually going to do on this one is I'm going to change the inner glow on some of them, okay? So we start off at the top and then work our way down. Double click on them to bring up the, the layer style, drop shadow, inner glow, and then okay. Shadow, in a glow. Okay. Do it quick. Shadow, in a shadow. Okay. And you can see, slowly but surely, all the layers are starting to come to life. And then what I'm going to do differently on this one that I didn't do with the Robert De Niro is I'm just going to slightly play with the black and white aspect of it and make them all different shades. see like that and then on the odd layer like for instance this layer six go to image adjustments you see you can pretty much change whatever you want look you see you just change the darkness of some of them as you're playing with those gives it a real dram oh, so to speak gives it a really dramatic finish all right Adjustments. What else could we play with? The colour balance a little bit. I keep double clicking it automatically. But what you need to be doing, go to image adjustments and then just play around with these. Any one of these that you want. And then change the yeah, change the black and white. The only way that you can really go you've just done a few of them now your image is a little bit different go to the background unlock it change it to a solid color if you want to ever so slightly just change it not loads because it'll just look there you go and then just changing that color a little bit just changes 
the whole thing. Grab an image. Grab a screen grab of it, I mean. And then, just like I did in the last one, put it into your uh, your PowerPoint, wherever you want to put it in. I say PowerPoint, sorry, I mean portfolio. So you can see, I've done Zendaya and De Niro and above. Slightly different. We've got loads of boxes on this one. Fewer boxes on this one, but this one is just half of the image. So try and get a few of those done and then put them all into your portfolio.